Hello, this is Sarah Crowley with the Polar Trek program up in Fairbanks, Alaska. I work with Janet Wartburton on this project, and we work um, for the Arctic Research Consortium of the United States. And Polar Trek is a particular project that's funded by the National Science Foundation. This is just a quick video to give you an idea of what's available on our website as you work with your students throughout the year to bring polar regions into the classroom. So this is our front page at polartrek.com. There's all kinds of available resources at the top, so take some time to look through. On the right, you'll see the scrolling front page news of all the different uh, topics that we're highlighting at the moment. If you see something interesting, all you need to do is click right here and it will take you off to like this particular teacher's journals, as well as upcoming expeditions so you can get ready to follow. Learning resources are available, activities, videos, all kinds of different pieces to bring into your classroom. Polar Connect events are a way for students and teachers to connect directly with researchers and teachers that are out in the field. Polar Profiles gets, helps you get to know teachers or researchers a little bit better, and there's fast and fun facts about the polar regions. Another really important piece is our current expeditions, upcoming and completed expeditions. This is a great way to see what's been going on in the polar regions with our teachers. So, to look at what's already happened, you can scroll through here. These are what's coming, and current expeditions here. So I know a lot of you are trying to fulfill a lot of STEM education in your school year, so of course the S, the science, is covered in all of these journals. Additionally, technology and engineering is throughout the journals and allows you to uh, just get an idea of what it's like to work in these kinds of conditions. So I'm going to take you particularly to John Wood, his carbon balance and warming tundra and drying tundra expedition. So just click on the title and it takes you there. So here is John's overview page. It gives you an idea of who's on his team. There's the, bio the researcher's uh, biography as well project information, where they are, what they're doing, and on the left is all of his journals. On the right at the bottom you can access resources that are associated with this journal. Or expedition, sorry. Um, in July 16th, let's check out that journal. So just click on the title and it takes you right there. So this is a great example of what a journal looks like in the Polar Trek website. John has added all kinds of uh, weather data to give you an idea of what it's like while he's out in the field. And John and all their teachers, their job is to communicate the science that's going on in the project out in the field. So it's kind of a science narrative with all kinds of data information about how the scientific process really works out in the field. There are photos and information about what they're doing. Again, engineering and ste in STEM, um, these projects are really, really neat in their creativity and ingenuity of how to get polar science accomplished. So those pieces are all strewn throughout the journals. If you want to go back a journal, you can click here or move forward in all the journals. It's here. Our teachers are basically journaling every day that they're out in the field. If you have a question about what's going on in the journals or what's happening in the field, you can ask the team. So if you click here, you'll see all of the different questions that are being asked, and John's answering them in real time. All right, well, here's another journal that I would throw in there for the math connections. So each teacher often puts in sort of a hook or something like that at the ends of their journals or throughout. Michelle Don Brown did a great job of bringing in math. So here's one of her journals I pulled out to show you what she was doing. For snow sampling in Antarctica, she pulled in a little bit of information about the place, McMurdo Station, why they were sampling, a little bit of history, and a question as well as the math connections. So your students can submit their answers to her questions on the Ask the Team forum. Also, she's adding a little more about life in Antarctica. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's ways to get back to the different pieces you've been looking at through the links down below. So how else can you connect to the research teams out in the field? Well, you could do a Polar Connect event. 
Polar Connect events are a chance for students and teachers to interact live directly with teachers and researchers out in the field. So these teachers are presenting the information about the science, telling you a little bit about where they are, and then we open it up for questions so that your students can directly talk with the research team. There's ways to register for these and keep track of what's coming up. It, they're always free and easy to be able to sign up for and participate. So upcoming events are listed here and you fill out this form and you're able to um, participate. Instructions will come to you but they're also available here on the website. If you missed an event and you want to check back on it, these are the Polar Connect archives. So archives are always available within about a week of each event and you can pick whichever one that you were interested in looking at. So I uh, just click on the title here and I've pulled that one up for us. This is Nick Lefebvre's event and it tells you a little bit about it and the details and there's just a video here available as well as a download of all the slides that he presented and the audio is separated here. Those are some resources as well as our learning resources library. So we have a couple of special collections. You can reach them here in the resources tab there. And there's collections of all different resources available. And most of them are broken up into disciplines of life science, earth science, physical science, and social science. If you're looking for a particular resource type, you can do a search here on the right a particular region or if you're looking for an exact amount of time available. Also these featured resources in the center will switch and change throughout the school year so check back and see what's available. Looking more closely at a particular collection, here's the Earth Science collection, it tells you a little bit about it and then you can go down below and look at what lessons are available or activities amongst many other pieces. So, if you were looking to find out more about this activity, just click on the title and it'll take you there. Particularly, this activity has the overview, objective, preparation, and descriptions available. On the right, it gives you the details of what this lesson is available for, grade level-wise and discipline-wise. Materials are listed out, and documents are available for download. So, there's lots of pieces available to you. Those are just some of the general features of the Polar Check website, so I hope that was really helpful, and if you have any questions, you're welcome to email us at info at Thanks, and have a great school year.